This is cubing a trinomial with decimal values. For this example today, we're going to be using the number 329. If I was working with students, I would have them bring out the box and lay out the components and then label them. But for our purposes today, I've already laid out the components, I've grouped the like values together and just labeled one of each group. With using the number 329, we're going to be cubing this, but I'm going to start by writing it in its expanded form. So 329 cubed would also be 300 plus 20 plus 9, and that's cubed. The first component that we're going to work with is the 100 cube. So we would write h cubed, and that would equal 300 cubed, or 300 times 300 times 300, and that equals 27 million. We know that our 100 cube is always going to be in the millions value. The next group that we'll work with is hundreds squared times 10. So we have h squared t, and that would be 300 squared times 20. And we have one, two, three of those. So that's going to be equal to three, then in parentheses, I'll have ninety thousand times twenty, and that is going to equal five million four hundred thousand. So our next one would be the the brown group. We would have three of the hundred times ten squared. That would be three times three hundred times twenty squared, and our value for that would be three hundred sixty thousand. Then we would have our 100 squares times units, we would have three of those as well, so it would be three times 300 square times nine, and our product would be 2,430,000. We would continue on with our, our soldiers. They would be 100 times 10 times unit, and we had six of those, so it would be six times 300 times 20 times nine, and our product would be 324,000. Next would be our red cube, or our 10 cube, which would be 20 cubed, or 20 times 20 times 20. That would equal 8,000. We go next to the orange components, starting with the 100 times unit squared. That would equal 3 times 300 times 9 squared, or 729,000. Then we have our 10 squared times unit. We have three of those, so we have three times 20 squared times nine, or 10,800. Then we have our 10 times unit squares. We have three of those. We have three times 20 times nine squared, or 4,860. And then our last component is the white cube, or our unit cube. That's 9 cubed, or 9 times 9 times 9, and that equals 729. To let the students check their own work, I would have them add up all of our products, and we would get 35,611,289. And then they could take 329 cubed, or 329 times 329 times 329, and they get 35,611,289.